Welcome to your Pregnancy Pilates session. I've designed this specifically for each trimester, so it doesn't matter where you're at in your pregnancy, this one's for you. A really good focus on core strength and glute strength, and if you have pelvic girdle pain, this is safe. I have modifications and I will talk you through it each step of the way. I'm Karen, the founder of Pregactive, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Now let's get started standing. You don't need anything in this routine except access to potentially a couch or a bench or a low bench like a gym bench. So let's just go down and back up, warming up through the body. Breathing is really important here. So, as you may have noticed in your pregnancy, your breathing might be altered or affected by the growth of your baby and the space for your lungs. So focus on your breath. Slow down when you need to. We're here for another four, three, two, and one perfect just some arm circles up back and down breathe in and two more last one perfect from here standing so that you're facing the length of your mat or you've got some space in front of you big breath exhale drop your chin to curl your body all the way down into a forward fold. From here, shake your head like you're saying no. Nod your head like you're saying yes. And just sway the body from side to side. Find stillness, bend to the knees, crawl your hands all the way out. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, take a breath here, look up. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the tail. Again, breathe, look up. Exhale and round. Last one, breathe and look up. Exhale and round. Come back into your stillness. Pull those shoulder blades back. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, think pelvic floor lifts, belly gently hugs back, connection through your core. Breathe in, let it all go. Exhale again, pelvic floor engage, pelvic floor belly, and slide one arm out in front of you. Breathe in, let it go. Fix your belly, slide the opposite arm out. And breathe in. Adding here now, opposite arm, opposite leg if you want. If there's aggravation with this, with pelvic girdle pain, then don't add the leg. Exhale to lengthen away. Breathe in to lower. Exhale, lengthen. Breathe in low. You can always add a lift of that back leg if you're wanting to. Add that lift. Exhale. Get that squeeze into the glute if you are lifting through that leg as well. Perfect. Just two more each side. One more each side. Amazing. Let's head into a side plank position. Elbow goes down directly underneath that shoulder. From here, top hand to the top hip. We're gonna lift up and then back down. Now, if that lift is too much, stay with your hips on the ground and just lift through that bottom waist. So join me to lift and then lower. Lift, lower if you want, top hand. Lift, lower. So if you are later in your pregnancy, particularly into that third trimester, and this just seems absolutely impossible, please stay here. It's a beautiful modification. You're still getting beautiful benefit and you're not putting your body under strain. <sighs> All right, let's go for three, 
for two and one amazing from here just slide that bottom arm long shoulders relaxed we're working into oysters here top leg just lifts up and the ankle and the knee stay at the same height lifting lowering if this is aggravation for your pelvic girdle pain just stay in a spot and point and flex rather than doing the up and down movement breathe here good we're here for five for four three two everybody now point and flex for five four three two one job give it a good rub we're heading up and over to the other side now take your time there is no rush we'll start with that side plank position elbow is down lift open through your chest lift up or not <laughs> add that arm if you want it So you're probably wondering why we need a couch or a bench and that is the next exercise which is called our pelvic presses and they're so good for your glutes which is so important in your pregnancy all right keep going here we've got another five four remember leave the hip down if you want three two and one slide that bottom arm long drop your head top hand top hip lift the leg and we're just going down and up with your oysters the design of this is that top glute so you might need to shuffle your feet back a little you just need to work it out adjust slightly so that you're feeling it into that top glute okay not here for long five four three two and one hold it up point and flex that foot perfect good all right let's release give it a rub we are heading up to the couch so with this all you need to do is place your upper back onto the couch. Release your hand, head into your hands if you can and drop your hips down now. Tuck the tailbone under, squeeze and lift the hips. Hold here, breathe and then lower. Go again, exhale to squeeze and lift and then breathe in as you release down. Exhale, squeeze, lift high, breathe. So the tuck of the tailbone under first is really important and then press into those heels to squeeze and lift. Exhale, squeeze, lift, breathe in. Let's do five more together. Exhale, squeeze, lift, four more. Exhale, squeeze, lift, three more. Exhale, squeeze, lift, two more. Exhale, squeeze, lift, one more. Exhale, squeeze, lift, hold, breathe, three, two, one, release. And now you just lower all the way down. Placing now your elbows onto the edge of the couch. And we're just working with some pelvic movement so just some circles if that feels good if you do have pelvic girdle pain and this aggravates it just working with some pelvic tilts forward and back is good if you prefer just to work with pelvic tilts then go for it just this is your time listen to your body if you're circling then circle back the other way because we are going to head into one more round of those pelvic tilts in both of my pregnancies so I've got two two boys I felt that the pelvic tilts oh sorry the pelvic presses were the best exercise for sure I did them every day 
and it helped me so much, particularly with pelvic girdle pain. All right, let's head into that second set. So set yourself up. I know it's a little bit awkward for this part, but once you're there, breathe in. Exhale, tuck your lift. One. Exhale. Two. Exhale. Three. Good. Exhale and lift. Four. Remember that pelvic tilt. Tuck it under. Five. Exhale, lift. Six. Breathe in as you lower. Exhale, seven, eight, nine, last one here, and 10, hold, and then release all the way back down, roll over. Let your forearms rest onto the couch and then tuck the toes under if it feels okay and stretch back. As you do, your hands are gonna slide and hopefully you're gonna get a beautiful chest stretch. Just make sure your knees are wide enough to allow space for your belly. If you prefer to have your legs flat, that's fine. It's just gonna get lower into that stretch. One more deep breath in. And begin to curl your spine back as you release the hands, come back up to kneeling, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Shake it out. Okay, come through to a seat. Let your legs go long. Hands back behind you, point and flex. If you wanna use the couch and rest up against that, then that's fine. The focus here is your legs your feet, ankle pumping, helping to reduce swelling. So try to do movement like this with your feet every day. Even if you're getting no swelling, it is a beautiful way to prevent or reduce your risk. Circle those feet and then circle back the other way. Wriggle through those toes. Perfect, come through to a comfortable seat. One more move. Breathe, open that chest up, look up. Exhale, around your spine. Breathe here, look up. Exhale, around. Last one, big breath. And down. And release. Now we are finishing with a glute stretch. I'm gonna do it on the couch, but I will show you the modification. If you prefer to be on the ground, you've got space, then this is a really good option to do your glute stretch. If not, join me up seated on the couch. So just come up to a seat, sitting on the edge, allowing one foot to come up, ankle on top of the knee, sit tall, breathe here. Exhale and slowly begin to come forward. Breathe. This is a beautiful time to have stillness, to tune in, to check in how you're doing, how Bob is. Maybe Bub is moving around, maybe you're not there yet. Maybe that's not this, the time of your pregnancy you're in yet. It will come if you're early. Breathe. And then slowly release. Swap over to the other side again. Be tall here. Exhale, soften into the stretch. Let's take this time to be grateful, so grateful for this beautiful miracle, this pregnancy, because it all does go so fast, even though some days I know can feel like forever. I'm here to support you along the way and I'm so excited for your journey. Mm. Breathing here, deep and slow. Mm, I 
go of anything you don't need. Any tension, any mental tension, any physical tension. Breathe, one more. Stay for the exhale. Slow release. And just shake, 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 shake that out. And that is your workout complete for today. If you like that, make sure you give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. How many weeks are you? How's your pregnancy going? And what did you think of that workout? And of course, for more just like this, head over to preactive.com. For more videos just like this, visit preactive.com.